So we've been cooking at my apartment and I definitely cook very differently at home than I do in my restaurants. I try to take as many shortcuts as possible without compromising flavor. And the irony is, is these, the only constant between my cooking in professional kitchens at Momofuku and the cooking I do at home, where I try to take as many shortcuts as possible, are these types of ingredients, the, the seasoned salts. These are ingredients naturally high in glutamic acid. So it's all natural, no artificial flavors. And there's flavors that are three distinct things, right? You have the spicy and it's got heat, right? When I eat it, I, I, I think spicy has to make me sweat a little bit. Otherwise, it's just like not spicy enough. For me, this is spicy. And it's got, <clears throat> again, roundness. It's not just a blast in your face of hot. There are balance to that. And this is the, the, the all-terrain vehicle, right? This can be used in every way you use salt and pepper, which is essentially almost, I'd say 90% of all dishes, salt and pepper can be improved with this. Tingly probably needs the most explanation because the flavors are oftentimes new to a lot of people. We get very good quality Sichuan peppercorns and we turn it into a salt with a few other ingredients. And I think it's just the right balance of um, the tingling sens sensation. It's the right balance of the tingling sensation you get from uh, the Sichuan peppercorns. But again, you have the saltiness, the sugar sweetness, you have a little bit of the bitterness um, and the umami that keeps it all balanced. It's almost like Sour Patch Kids for adults. It's not tart, you know, it, 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 but it has this, again, the numbing sensation that is not a good word, I think, which is why tingly is a better word, which is why we call it tingly salt. Think about all the times you use salt and pepper. This is gonna be not just a substitute, but something that's way better. So anytime you have a recipe, anytime you have your go-to dish, instead of using regular salt, just use this. And I, there's no way it's not gonna be more delicious.